Good morning, folks. We've got several space weather things to watch here over the next few days. We'll also take a look at Solar Orbiter's best close-up shots, an amazing story about the biggest super flare I've ever heard of, and a revelation in the mainstream scientific field. Let's start with the last 24 hours on our star and there is even less eruptive activity even as the solar flaring remains. This morning we took an M9, another near X-class event from the big sunspots on the north. This one didn't put out much of a CME. We do have several sunspots we're watching at this time. Big ones up north have fired the biggest flares but the caboose on the south has been growing and gaining complexity as well. Eyes on them. If you caught last night's video, you know there is a moderate chance for a glancing blow CME today. I give a low probability for the impact tomorrow from another eruption and a very high chance of coronal hole impact on May 6th. Here are the coronal holes turning away now, their stream already on its way to Earth. Depending on how many of the CMEs actually make impact, the geomagnetic storm situation could be absent too strongly active. We'll have to wait and see over the next 48 to 72 hours. We're at Solar Orbiter up next, took these very zoomed in shots of the lower corona and chromosphere. This level of detail has been achieved only with iris before this, and it is a moment of true beauty on our star. Wish we got more stuff like this. Up next folks, hope we don't get something like this because it's wild. One of the experts in the field has reviewed the data from many years ago and concluded that the super flaring from a known recurrent nova in the 1940s hit the X 10 billion mark. That's an absolutely mind-boggling thing to think about. If the sun ever did something like that, every planet would instantly burst into flames. Life on Earth would be over in moments. Last but not least, shades of Robert Felix's book, Magnetic Reversals and Evolutionary Leaps. They're now suggesting that the collapse of Earth's magnetic field in Earth's early years lines up perfectly with the explosion of more complex animal life in the world. To a lesser extent, this is what Felix and many others have spotted in the data when species disappear and new ones appear seemingly suddenly at the same time as magnetic changes on our planet. It's another card in the deck for the ongoing magnetic pole shift we're enduring now. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.